Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I want to show you a quick tip on how you can write a contract in 10 minutes or less in DocuSign. Once you have logged into DocuSign, you want to make sure that you go up to the top right corner to your initials and change that to switch to rooms. And once we are in our rooms, we want to make sure we, um, you'll automatically see you're in dashboard. Make sure you go over to rooms. And now you see all of your rooms of your different transaction folders, okay? When we're in here, we're going to go ahead, if you haven't already, create a new room. So I'm going to create a room here. And then I'm just going to say that we're on the buy side. And I'm going to save. So now I have that room created. One, two, three, four, Main Street. Most important thing to start out with, make sure that you click edit in this details section. You see details right here, okay? The reason you want to do this, it's going to save you so much time by auto-populating any information that you have in this details section. So pay attention to this part that's on the left side and on the right side, the seller, buyer, all of that information you can add in there, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put buyer one in here. Let's just say that I'm the buyer. And then I'm going to put the email address for buyer one. Okay. And then I'm also going to put in here buyer's agent as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. So all of that has been updated. Now when we go to documents, we're gonna go up here to the blue plus sign to add, and we're gonna add from DocuSign Forms. Now, if you do not see the Texas Association of Realtors um, library here, make sure you check the comments below as I have a link that um, will teach you how to add your NRDS ID number. So that way your DocuSign account is linked to the National Association of Realtors and you'll be able to access your Texas Association of Realtors. Once you're in this library, you're going to search for the one to four or whatever contract you're writing. Click the little check mark next to it. And then we're gonna click add selected. Once you have added the contract to your room, you're going to click on the document to open it to actually start editing it. So at this point, you'll see that there are definitely spots in here that are already filled out for us. So from here, you're just gonna go in here, add this information, lot one, da 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 da. Go in here, fill out the, um, the price, check the correct spots. But the great thing is, like I said, the you see up here, the address is auto-populated. So all you have to do is fill in whatever is not already filled out, okay? Once you have gone in here and filled everything out, the yellow save and close button up here at the top right. Once you've done that, that will save any changes that you just made completing your contract. And then you're going to click the little circle at the top left. When you do that, you're going to see this pen pop up that says create envelope. We're going to click that. And just think of it when you're filling out a contract on paper to send it to someone in the mail, you've got to fold it up and put it in an envelope. Okay, so just remember that to help you remember how to send documents for signatures. Once you're here, you can change this envelope name if you like to offer 
and then, or you can leave it blank, whatever you'd like to name it. Nobody sees it but you. You're going to add recipients to the envelope. You're going to click add recipient. And the wonderful thing is make sure anytime you have the option to select pre-tagged roles, select it because that is going to save you so much time. And I'll show you how in just a minute. Go ahead and select who your buyers are. And also go in here and add buyer to, etc. Once you've done that, we are going to go down here. You fill out your subject and your email message. Please sign this offer and let me know if you have any questions. It'd help if I get spelled correct. <laughs> okay, once you fill that out, you're gonna go up to the top right to the yellow next. Once you are here, this is why I said it's so important to push this option for pre-tagged roles if the option's there, because when you look at the contract now, you're gonna see every spot that needs initialed or signed by each party is already ready to go. It auto-populates it. This is especially helpful when you're doing a seller's disclosure. You're not going to have to auto fill all of those text boxes, check marks, um, you know, and signatures, initials, et cetera. It's going to auto populate it as long as you select pre tagged roles. Okay, so once you are here, you're good to go. Everything should be ready. If you do have two parties on the contract, you'll notice up here this little drop down you'll have another person's name right here in blue. And when you toggle between them, you'll see the blue ones will be on the other line once you've selected the other one, okay? But this one's ready to go. So all I've got to do now is click send and it's going to send to my clients. And what's so great is I just got the notification on my phone. And you'll even see right here, I already got an email from DocuSign. That is the email wanting me to sign the contract as the buyer, okay? So that's how quick and easy it is. Once the buyer goes in there and signs everything, it's going to come back to you through documents right here. You'll see a green check mark on any signed documents that are ready to go. You see how these have a green check mark? That means they're signed, all right? So if you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. Have a great day.